Yo, what is going on guys, it's Garth here from Murphy's Film and welcome to another monthly favourites video. Um, currently, this is a bit of a weird thing to do because obviously everyone on the planet is basically in quarantine. Me and the other half are on about week two and a bit. And things are going a little bit nuts. I mean, the toilet started smoking. We found out my next door neighbour's got chickens. And I've actually set myself up a little YouTube space. So we're going to go down there and carry on the video. So it ain't much, but it's my little YouTube space for now. And yes, I'm very much aware I do have a big power cord and power cord, no, um, junction box and the wires all and all that. But it's gonna be changed in the t possibly near future, depending on how long COVID lasts and how long I've got until my little one comes. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's get ourselves into the video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something that I've had a little bit over a month, but it come too late last month for me to include it in the video. Um, and that is this, this is the Olympus XA. And I know before you all start in the comments, uh, every YouTuber seems to have an Olympus XA, what's going on? Why is this the new hype camera? Is this the new Contax T2? Um, so with that being said, I can see where the comments can possibly come from. But the first thing I wanna say is, if you guys have a look up here or up here in one of the cards, you can see that I've previously owned this camera about two years ago. And I was missing it. I was missing zone focusing with it. In that video, I did say that I wasn't gonna keep it and I did actually sell that one. Um, and that was because I was using it more of an actual range, range finder, bringing it up to my IM focusing. Whereas now I've learned how to zone focus with my M6. I feel a little bit more confident zone focusing using the Olympus XA. So I, I, I wanted to try it out and I managed to pick one up for 40 quid. So I'm quite happy with that for the sake of that. And also with the little one on the way, I thought it'd be a good little camera to keep in my pocket, more or less at all times, where the light is a little bit too big. But what I can tell you about this XA is, unlike the one that I had previously, this one comes with the A11 flash, whereas last time I had the A16 flash, which was the bigger brother flash. <gasps> Breathe. And I have shot a couple of rolls through this. One is currently at the lab, because for some reason my lab is still actually developing film, even though we're in a global pandemic. Personally, I think it's non-essential, but hey ho, it's still open, so I sent them off. Um, and a test roll of HP5 push to 800, which I'll throw a couple of pictures up on screen. It is working, all shutter speeds and apertures, etc., etc. That won't be developed by the time this video goes up, so you're not going to see it. It'll be on my Instagram at some point, though. So the next thing I want to talk about is something that I recently picked up for my Hasselblad. Um, I picked this up from PPP Repairs, Piero. Um, if you don't follow him, he repairs old film cameras, etc, etc. And he's actually really, really well priced. I know George from Negative Feedback has done a video with him showcasing him. So most of you guys are probably already aware of him. But I bought this from his store, something that had been sent in for repair and didn't want back, I, I assume. I don't know. It was on a store anyway. Um, so. This is my Hasselblad 500C. You guys have seen this quite a few times. It's my only medium format camera. And to be honest with you, I'm very happy that it's my only medium format camera. Um, so this is what it standardly looks like. And this is what I picked up. It's a 90 degree prism finder for the Hasselblad. So this is one of the earliest prisms that you can get. It doesn't have a meter. It's literally just a right angle for you to put your eye up to the camera. So instead of looking through it like you normally would with the waist level, you obviously bring this up to your eye, focus and shoot. Which some people might say is a little bit of a disadvantage. Why would you do that with a Hasselblad if it's meant to be shot at a waist level? But these were made back in the day, so more for studio work and portraits. Um, it, just, it just enables you to be able to get on actual eye level rather than down on a waist, which for some people can become a double chin angle, which a lot of people aren't happy about. So with that being said, I did pick this up mostly for portraits. It won't be used on the street that much. Um, but the project that I'm working on, it might come in useful to get some eye level shots. I don't know. Um, it was up for a good price. It cost me 35 pounds. So for that price, I was quite happy with it. So yeah. So sticking with the Hasselblad theme here, there's actually something else that I picked up for my Hasselblad too. Um, and that is this, introducing the Frankenblad. 
So I actually managed to pick up a left hand grip for this as well. Um, after trying out the prism finder at first, I thought the grip would be very useful. So I did actually manage to pick one up from West Yorkshire cameras. Um, just screws onto the bottom there, it's a left handed grip and you just feed a shutter release cable through a hole which then goes onto the back and then you, you fire your shutter from your left handed grip rather than like very awkwardly focusing and then shooting. Um, it does make it a lot easier to focus and hold while actually using the prism finder. There's not much to it really, it's just it's just a left handed grip. It's not one of obviously the mechanical one that you can get for the right hand side which winds the film on for you as well. It's just a grip. But as I say, it does. it's one of them quality of life things which isn't a big, big thing that makes a difference, but it helps. There's two more things I wanna mention before I wrap this video up. Um, the next thing that I've really been enjoying this month is this. This is a spotting kit. I know that sounds a bit weird. Um, but what it is, it's basically, it basically allows you to paint over dust spots on your darkroom prints. Um, if you guys follow Kit Young on Instagram or Jahan from Do You Develop, um, them guys use spotting all the time. And basically what it is, is if you've got a little white dot or something like that on one of your darkroom prints, that should be green or should be a part of a detail. It basically allows you to fill that in on your darkroom print without it getting washed off or anything like that. Um, I specifically bought this for one print in particular, but it's one of them things that will be really, really helpful going forward. And that is because of this print is now up in my living room. It's a print from New York. If you guys are interested in this print, hit me up down below. Because um, I can make some more because I've got a dark room on the way. More on that in a different video. But I digress. But I can't show you what I've done to this print obviously anymore because it's spotted and it's finished but there was a little white dot of grain that should have been dark uh, up in the top of the image and it was just a big obvious white mark so I bought the spotting kit just to fill that in but as I say it's one of them things that'll be dead handy going forward um, the kit itself comes with a neutral black an olive tone selenium tone and brown tone for if you're doing obviously on a warm tone paper if you're selenium toning or anything like that yeah i i mostly print on ilford pale black and white so i use the i use the neutral black and last but by no means least this particular item is probably the one that's had the biggest impact on me on this month and it's not new it's actually a really old thing that i've had for maybe at least 12 months if not longer but i've started using it properly in the past past month or so it's this, it's a non-photography related item in the slightest, but it's the Logitech MX Master Mouse. The reason I'm bringing this up is because, of course, most of the world is on quarantine and a lot of you guys may not know this, but I am actually an NHS worker. I'm a back-end NHS worker, so I'm not a nurse or anything like that, but I do work for the IT department in one of the NHS hospitals in Liverpool. So with that being said, I've been working from home for the past three weeks or so now um, and as you guys know if you follow the channel or follow me on Instagram my other half is pregnant which puts her on under the old and vulnerable list so with that being said I've had to be working from home myself even though my whole the whole team that I work in is working from home themselves but with her being pregnant obviously there's quite a big risk there so with working from home I've been using this mouse a lot more as you can see from the b-roll i actually do a lot of gaming on my pc so i'm actually using two mice one for work and one for gaming because wireless mice for gaming is not that good the really nice thing about this particular mouse is it's got the side the side scroll wheel on the on the side um which is really helpful for working through systems and excel etc etc as i say it's not a big photography related thing at all it's just something that i wanted to mention because obviously time's difficult right now and with that being said i just want to make sure that all you guys are staying safe out there staying healthy and let me know down below how you guys are dealing with quarantine personally i'm doing a lot of gaming and just shooting a little bit around the house as and when i feel like and the very last thing before i go is that's why i've been wearing a hat the whole episode <laughs> because i've shaved my head so with that being said it's Garth here from Murphy's Film. Let me know what you think of the setup. 
Um, I know it's not obviously amazing right now because it's just a brick wall, but as I say, let me know what you think down below. It's been Garth here from Murphy's Film, a bald Murphy's Film. I had to go back on. Peace out.